Are you live? Oh, I hate this fucking music. Really, like, is this shit necessary? No, it's really not. Okay, you guys, so I'm doing five stories at the moment, I believe. Yeah, five. Yeah, I'm doing five stories at the moment. So I'm trying to get all of them to at least episode four. So that I can just all do do them all simultaneously at the same time. So that, you know. See how that goes for us. Let's see how that really goes for us. Okay. Um. So let's jump into this one. Of course I couldn't get it picked up in front of my own house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, along with the white limo picked me up, oh, so, a long white limo picked me up from the safe house belonging to the organization Daniel was working for. Um, excuse me, everything was ready. Uh, we had rehearsed everything from what I do for a living, where I live, favorite things to do, etc. Uh, um, we made sure that everything was backed up by full social social media. Oh, these look good. Um, oh, full social media sites, articles, and pictures. Nothing could go wrong. I like this shit. Lucas is in the car behind me, and even though I told him I could do this on my own, he insisted on coming with me. Lucas, no. Lucas think he's slick, y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I think right now, but I just just know I got a somewhat of an idea on how this Lucas situation about to go. After all his eyes and oh, after all he is my eyes and ears outside. The fuck? So <laughs> he would provide me with useful information about Tristan that could really help me win his heart. Yeah, I keep telling myself that I could have done this by myself without his help. Um, I would have done it before. I guess Daniel just could, uh, wouldn't take the risk. Uh, uh, since the job might be more important than any other job I've had, ever had. This is about saving the world, presumably. I don't know. All I know is what I've been told, but I also know that I'm making my own, I make, that I made my own opinions and never trust anyone. I know I have a job uh, to do and they're paying me quite, uh, quite a sum of money to do this. But in the end, I'll be a judge. Okay, let's see y'all. <clears throat> When I go to Vegas, well, when I got to Vegas, the driver picks me up at the airport and drove me to this fancy hotel and stuff. I was supposed to meet Tristan here, but he was nowhere to be found. I took my phone up, pretending to talk in, and it to ask Lucas if he had a visual on him. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Why can't I be Dad? Being Mom makes me feel so unmanly. Well, it makes me feel unmanly. <laughs> I was just wondering, do you know where dad is? <sighs> Fine. I'm in, I'm in room <laughs> three or four. four or three. I've already bugged his room uh, and put up a uh, nano cams. He hasn't, he haven't checked in yet. Let me track him down. Wait a second. Mm. Thanks to cell phones, it's much easier to track a person down today than it was 20 years ago. I found him. He's just around the corner. He should be with you in about a minute. Okay, thank you. Mm. You look really hot in that dress, by the way. <laughs> Rachel? Mm-hmm. I felt the warm hand on my shoulder. He was here. Game on. Tristan, you startled me. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Um, I'm late too. I I had some business to attend to. Business, huh? It's fine. 
This hotel is very nice, by the way. Thanks again for inviting me. No, thank you for wanting to come with me. Oh, that's mine. It's probably Julia. Um, is it okay if I answer this? Sure, of course. Go ahead. Hey, beautiful. What's up? Mm, beautiful. What? You must be very much in love with her. Mm. She is beautiful. That's for sure. I'm sorry I have to ruin their relationship. <laughs> It never, it's never a good feeling to be the one to ruin anything, especially not love or families. But, I like to think that she doesn't know about his evil plans and would have let him always, would have left him anyways, as soon as she found out. They've been together for two years, at, at least they don't have children. I'm sorry about that. Girl, she probably knows exactly what the fuck he doing, too. Oh, her sneaky, stinking ass. Don't be. Is everything okay? Yeah, she just wanted to let me know that she's just landed in Milan. She's doing a fashion show there tonight. Yes, I read about that last night, actually. She's working um, for somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. She, <laughs> she was very excited when he asked her to showcase his new collection. I know that whoever in the hell... Is a big fan of fur coats, and to be honest, that really bothers me. Mm, I'm very much against fur and animal cruelty. Mm, you can tell him. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? I don't know what she said. He said, Really? That's exactly what I told Julia when she got the job. Tristan is looking forward to see what else you have in common we don't exactly see eye to eye on that matter though bingo animal lover i, I know telling him was i knew th i know that telling him was a bit of a risk but given the fact that he wants to save the world quote unquote oh well supposedly it was uh kind of a no-brainer my heart is bleeding for the poor animals that die for fashion mine so I'm happy you feel the same way, Rachel. My project will also help a lot of uh, marine animals. Anyway, let me escort you to your room where you can unpack. My conference is in an hour, so we'll just meet down here in about 40 minutes. Sounds great. Bitch, Evergreen Corporation, honey. Okay, his speech, his confidence, and... His way of captivating the audience was admirable. Um, it was really hard to imagine all of this being a lie. Mm. He's selling his visions with such passion. Oh well, it's incredible the things people will do or say for money. He's just a good salesman. He's... He's really, really handsome, too. Mm -hmm. Look at those big brown eyes. Bitch's eyes black, girl. Okay, whatever. He could sell ketchup. He could sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves with just those <laughs> eyes. Okay, girl. Wow. Again, Rachel. First thing you do... After this mission, mission is definitely getting the cat. Thank you very much. Mmm, <laughs> trays room, y'all. Trays room is a hotel on this one. Hello there. Okay, this is it. This is um, this dinner will give me a chance to work my magic. It'll be tough. I think he's very loyal to Julia. Mm hmm. I go to the bathroom and step out of my dress to get changed. Mm -hmm. Wearing only my shapewear and red lace bustier. I walk out into the room. Well aware of Lucas having putting cameras up. 
in here as well. In fact, that he thinks <clears throat> he outsmarted me. I'm going to teach him a lesson. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I stop. I almost fucking died. I slowly unbuttoned my um, bustier, hiding, knowing he's sitting and sweating in the van watching me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't tell her I put nano cams in books her room as well. I stopped, looked playfully over at my shoulder, and walked directly over to the nearest camera. You're such a pig, Lucas. <laughs> That's a nice final touch after the bird. Um, <laughs> what? How did you? Damn it. <laughs> he is such a perv. <clears throat> anyway, you need to know I only place cams here for your protection. And, and I was going to tell you. Sure you were. Remind me to smack you when I see you. <laughs> Alright, girl? <laughs> you can try. I would love to wrestle with you. I'm this big town. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Never fails. Every time I'm recording a fucking video. <laughs> Even though I just rolled my eyes at the last remark, I must admit... My heart felt, oh wait, I felt my heart beat a bit faster yet again. Girl, you, girl, you need to get you some, because you just, you know, your heart just all over the place, child. You know, that tight yet tickling feeling you get right before you ride a big roller coaster, it felt just like that. Mm. <laughs> I don't know that feeling. <laughs> I know nervous feeling, like, bitch, you get nervous. <laughs> But this is not the time for flirting with the raven. Sure, it's fun, but I really need to put all my thoughts and all my focus to into Tristan. This dinner might be my only chance to really make him want to be wait well, want to be that close to me again. Uh, let's see, let's see what, what's popping with the close the election. Oh God, no, nope, no. And I bet you I ain't gonna like this boho chic shit either. Hell no. No. Girl, bye. Shit is... Okay. Now let's see gold goddess. Oh, I hate this. Mmm. Ever since you claim hugs, Mr. Everything, you mm -hmm. Mm, okay. I've got hair and makeup. Well, the, ma the makeup and hair. And the outfit. And then seductive scent going on. I'm about to be a femme fatale is much more. You need to be smart. Just, uh. Wait, you need to be smart. Like, you need to know pretty much at least a little about everything. To share interest with the guys. It's most important in finding him, or well, as him finding me attractive. The only difference is when it's important. First, I need um to captivate him with my beauty. He needs to be fascinated by me and my aura of mystery. Then, once I've got that done, I need to connect with him on a more personal level. Like it's interest, hobby, and work. Bullshit, 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 girl. And that's why I need to know low. I feel like this is just so stupid. God damn, she's doing too much talking. It's important not to talk too much. Oh, really, girl? It's really. Because you sure doing a lot of fucking thinking. Not to reveal too much because the mystery is always what makes it all exciting. Mmm. We all want what we can't have, so I'm going to make him feel like he really wants me. Then he has a chance, but also needs to feel like he's not the only guy there who's interested in me. And that I'm interested in him too. And that's where Lucas comes in tonight. At some point, I will excuse myself to the, go to the bathroom or on my way 
I hope Lucas will make a move one day. This will hopefully not only ignite some sense of wanting to to have me to himself, but hopefully also a bit of jealousy and irritation. <sighs> oh my fucking god, girl. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's gonna play hard to get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, she's this is a this is a lot of fucking thinking child. She's strong and dependent, I'll never let him feel like his value is determined by me. I want him to like he's feel like he's a special one though. That means blushing when he compliments me, laughing at his jokes and not looking at other men. Okay, I'm ready. Damn. Oh, fucking time. Are you ready, Lucas? Go get him, Tiger. Try not to be too captivated by me when I walk in, okay? Girl, you're seriously way too cocky. You know that. Nah, chicks dig it. <laughs> Even you do, and you should know better. I do know better, and I don't dig you or your cockiness. I'm seriously only like one cocky moment away from uh, taking you up on that wrestling date. And you won't, and you don't want that, believe me. But I do, sunshine. I really do want that. And why did I agree to work with you? Again, my charms. You can't get enough of them. I must admit, you're very funny, Lucas, girl. Okay. You just keep believing that, and I'll go on my day. Don't get too jealous, okay? <laughs> I can't promise anything, babe. Anyways, I gotta go. He's waiting for me on the rooftop restaurant. See you later. Aww. That's the end of that? Okay, well. Well, good evening, sir. Oh, wow, Rachel. I, I mean, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. Please sit. Thank you. He pulled my chair out for me and helped me down. So you basically know everything about my job and uh, now and also about this project. So what do you think about putting that aside for now and start getting to know each other as friends? As much as I'd love to hear about your job and this project, I would love to know more about you. And I would love to know more about you. So let's order some food and some wine and enjoy this night. Perfect. We order food and small talks for half an hour. This is it. This is my chance. Note, this is a thin fatale game. Everything you choose will be remembered and used later on. Oh, God. Choose wisely. Remember that Rachel said about being from you need to win Tristan Tart. Okay, I got it. She said a lot of shit, girl. She said a lot of stuff. But let's, let's give it a go. Wow, that was an amazing meal. Thank you. No problem. So, Rachel, we've been talking a lot about me. Let's talk about you now. What do you do for a living? I need a job that I can be working from home. Something that might, uh, something that might not need all my time. Mm. Something he can relate to independent, creative, and different. I know that he likes. Um, I say you're a writer, girl. I'm a, I'm, I'm a writer, actually. A writer, that's great. What genre are you writing? Based on the fact that he uh, chose to call his girlfriend beautiful instead of babe, I'm guessing he's a, a romantic kind of a guy. I wrote romance novels. I'm a hopeless romantic. Really? I bet you know uh, Nicholas Sparks then, right? Are you kidding me? He's my favorite author. Do you know his work? I actually read The Notebook when I was younger. I actually really liked it. 
it's great to hear there's some uh, romantic guys left in this world. Romance is almost that. You're right. It's nothing like the old days for sure. How in the hell would you know, girl? It's, <laughs> I like to think I'm helping preserve what's left of it by writing about it. I think we all deserve a little romance in our lives. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> we smiled at each other holding our eye contact a bit longer than what was appropriate. But this is what I wanted. Tristan loves that you appreciate romance. Can I ask you something? It's kind of embarrassing to ask, but I need to know. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Is that your natural eye color? Or are you wearing contacts? It's <laughs> my natural color. Really? They look violet. I've never seen that before. He noticed my eye color. I hope they will help enchant him like my mama's enchanted baba. It's a rare mutation in uh, the eyes called uh, Alexandria Jean's Genesis Girl. Um, I inherited it from my mom, though, which is really rare. I must admit that you probably have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Don't tell Julia I said that, though. Bingo. We're really getting somewhere. <laughs> um... I know that it's inappropriate to say, but I just might be really fascinated by the fact that you have violet eyes. Uh, girl blush. Okay. I look smilingly down, accepting his compliment, playing on my beauty. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> I bitch, it work, girl. <laughs> I could feel he felt proud of his compliment. And the excitement of giving another woman... A compliment like that probably made his heart beat faster as well. Tristan thinks you're very beautiful and intriguing. I, uh, <clears throat> so, do you have a boyfriend, a husband, perhaps? I'm sorry if that's too personal. No, not at all. I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, really? I mean, he obviously surprised. Um, he's obviously surprised. Reaction to me saying I'm single made him blush. This was perfect time to bring in Lucas. Will you excuse me for a bit? I have to go to powder my nose. Sure. <laughs> well, I hate when people say that. Let me go powder my nose, bitch. Okay, whatever. I went inside the restaurant and waited five minutes. As soon as I walked outside to Tristan again, Lucas was going to stop me and flirt with me in front of Tristan. Hopefully, this will um, irritate Tristan, maybe even make him a bit jealous. A little jelly belly, a little jelly belly girl. Mmm, I look at y'all, I like it like him. Lucas walked in front of me with his back to Tristan. He had a, a glint in his eyes. He really enjoyed this. He was looking at me with the same cockiness as always. <laughs> He looked really good in his ripped jeans and tight leather jacket. He knows he's good looking to him. That sexy smirk says it all. Excuse me, miss. I saw you earlier down in the lobby and I have to admit that your beauty is breathtaking. Look at you. <laughs> you bad bitch, girl. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? Oh, thank you very much, but I don't have time right now. How about tomorrow night then? I'm not actually from here, so no thanks. I have to go. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Don't be. I wouldn't have expected anything else. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Oh, no, nothing like that. I didn't mean anything like that. It's just, I mean, you're an attractive woman, so of course it doesn't surprise me someone asked you out. Not at all. I'm sorry, it really came off the wrong way. <laughs> you dress very classy and you look nothing like a, you know. I'm just messing with you, Tristan. You know I didn't mean it like that. Oh, thank God. I thought you were, I just thought, oh, I thought I just ruined everything. I know you're too much of a gentleman to ever say something like that to a woman and mean it in a degrading way. You keep surprising me, Rachel. I have to tell you. I've never had a connection like this with uh, my other sponsors. Yes, he's definitely feeling something. 
Okay. I feel the same way. And Christian, I've also made up my mind about the project. I would like to sponsor it with all of my inheritance. Really? Wow. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I know you're the one uh, who have sponsored the most money. And then, right? Oh, yeah, you know you're the one. A lot of money will be spent well in your hands, Tristan. I just wish I could uh, be more involved, to be honest. You know what? Given the fact that you're becoming such a huge part of this project and the fact that you are making all of this possible, would you like to join me on an, on yet another trip? I have a business meeting in Italy in about a week, and I could really use a woman like you to help me develop this project. I'm going to visit my family there too, and I could use a friend's company. What do you say? Nice job, gorgeous. You've got them. Hey, turn up. Hey, turn up. I'm right, y'all. That's that. And now I. I don't know what I'm going to record now. I got to go check it out. But hope you guys enjoy that.